guys, and welcome to this week's tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool abstract animation. It's a, I don't know, abstract ball. So um, basically, most of the work is done with um, the nodes. So the shading is going to give us most of the shape and, uh, and just one torus. So it's really quick, really easy, and I hope you guys have fun. But before we get into it, a sub to the channel would be amazing. And just hit the bell and I, so you never miss any of my videos. And it just, it'll be great if you guys, more of you guys support me. So let's get right into it. So I'm starting off with this banner scene. All I'm going to do is add in a torus object. So go into to shift A, add torus. Then go into the modifiers tab, add in a subdivision surface. Bring, bump that up to three for the viewport samples and four or, or five for the render samples. Uh, and then press shade smooth. So now we've got this. Uh, next thing you can do is add in a simple deform. Simple deform, put that to something like 224. That's what I like to see. And then I'm gonna shift D to duplicate this one and change the axis from X to Z. And then I'm gonna increase this to 360 degrees. So now we've got this pretty cool looking shape. I'm going to go tab into edit mode and we see our original donut. And um, all I'm going to do is shift D and RY 90. So now we've got this. This is our shape. This is our whole modeling. So I'm just going to grab this, grab on the Z axis, move it up a bit. I'm going to add in another plane. So I'm just going to add in a plane. And then I'm just gonna scale it up by 10. I'm gonna tap into edit mode, grab this far edge, extrude it on the z-axis, so something like this. And then I'm gonna add to it a bevel modifier. So basically, if you have seen these before, this is one of those like professional um, camera. I don't know, I've, you see them everywhere. I, I don't know the official name from it. So you just put it here and we've got basically our scene set up. Um, what I'm going to do now is just animate our object before we get into any shading. So I'm just going to animate it, give it 60 frames. I'm going to choose the item. So go enter a single keyframe on the Z rotation, enter a single keyframe, go to the last frame. So frame 60 and then add one. So in frame 61, and I'm going to put in 180 degrees. So since this is symmetrical from on 180 degrees, uh, this thing is just gonna spin seamlessly. So that's what we got. So I'm just gonna add in our camera and I'm just gonna choose the position, control alt zero, and then I'm just gonna give myself 85 for the focal length. I'm just gonna move my camera into the position I want it to be in. So like this, so basically I'm just gonna choose a nice framing I like and enable depth of field and focus object our torus and put this to around 0.9. So now we can go into shading. So this is a um, cycles uh, render because we're using displacement. So go into render view and click on our torus object add in a new shader to it. And so basically we're gonna be working with a couple nodes. So it's not gonna be that difficult. So just add here, in between here, a mix shader, mix shader. Add also a emission, shift A, add an emission, emission. Plug the emission into the tops, like the top sh shader socket. And then I'm gonna add in also a color end color RAM. Here we go. So plug the color RAM into the mix shader. And now I'm just gonna shift A, add in a Voronoi texture. So Voronoi. So plug this into here and then add in a wave texture. So this is just gonna give us those lines that you saw in the animation. 
So plug the vector, the color into the vector, and then press Control T if you have no render to get the text recording and the mapping node on your wave object. Otherwise, right, go into Edit Preferences and just enable Node Wrangler. Next thing is I'm gonna. You see how these lines are positioned here? Just change the, uh, it from on the wave texture from X to Y, and now we've got this. So I'm just gonna decrease the scale of this to 3.7 and here to three. So that's what I found to be like a nice looking size for what I'm doing. And next thing, next up is shift the duplicate this color ramp and plug this one into here. So now we will be able to adjust the color of our principal BSDF and of the whatever is adjusting our factor. So which will show where the principal BSDF is acting in the emission shader. So now I'm just going to change the emission shader to a nice teal blue. As we see, we can see it now, it's in these lines. So I'll just want to bring this down a bit. So I want there to be just really thin strips of blue. So not too much, not too little. And basically now what we are going to do, so to bring this whole seen to a next level is just add in a displacement so what this is going to do is going to it's going to displace our geometry and make it more three-dimensional so just get this color plug it into the height and plug this come on plug it into the height and then plug this displacement into the displacement socket as you can see nothing has happened yet all we have to do is go into the sh uh, shader settings press settings and from displacement press displacement change to displacement and bump and now we've got this whole thing displacing i'm going to decrease this displacement because it's a bit too high to 0.3 so we get something like this and i'm just gonna start adding colors to our principal bsdf so very simply we just click here Choose whatever color you want. You can choose any colors. It all depends on what you like. So I I, I went with um, like these colors. I'm going to show you now. So I went with a nice purple also. Dark, darkish purple. I went with a red. So I took a red, put it here. And I also put in a, another pink one. So nice pink over here. So something among these lines, a bit brighter, a bit lighter. And I also added in an orange color. So in between here, I added an orange color. So now just play around, fiddle with this as you like to. So just basically do whatever you like. And whenever you see something that looks nice just stick with it and then you're gonna have something that looks really cool so i'm just gonna next thing i'm gonna do i'm just gonna change my strength of my emission to 50 make this pop a little bit I'll look at my framing i'll move my object on the z-axis a little bit so it's a bit off the ground and then add in the shader to the ground plane make it just no roughness at all and just add some lighting. So I'm, I, I just, what I did in my render, I did a, uh, a area light. I made it a disc, increased its power, to something like 200, 400, 400, increased the scale of it, duplicated a little bit, I'm just going to work in solid view. I duplicated it. I moved it here and made another one. Duplicated, moved it somewhere around here. Grab X, grab Z, and I just rotated it around. And then we got this scene going on. And that's your whole animation. So this is going to be animated. So you just press. Render and you're gonna have your animation. If you want to render versus video, 
press FFmpeg in the output settings, encoding to MP4. Uh, so container MP4, and then just output quality to perception of losses. And then if you hit F12, you will get um, this animation. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, this was really simple animation to make. It was really fun to make. Hope you guys like it. And yet again, a sub to the channel would be amazing. Hope you love my videos. And if there's anything you guys want to see in my upcoming videos, just uh, put it down in the comments and I'll be sure to read them and I'll maybe um, plug you in the next video and I'll do whatever you guys requested it. So see you guys in the next one. Have fun. Thank you all. Goodbye.